This is Sky Motoring Weekly with me, Alistair Weaver, John Quirk and Owen Reedy. This week, Ford unveils the new car, Honda trumpets the new jazz and we beat the credit crunch by buying a car for less than £300. After a staggering 12 years at the top, the Ford Cat is to be replaced with an all-new version and you'll be pleased to hear that those plastic nappy bumpers are no more. Second time round, the new Cat Super Mini will be bigger, roomier, better equipped and more fun to drive. But is it funkier? On the evidence of these pictures, we're not sure really. The old car was so radically different for its day that it stood apart from its rivals as well as Ford's entire range. This new one looks more like a Fiesta that's been shrunk in the wash. You'll be able to make your own minds up when the car is unveiled at the Paris Motor Show in October. And when it hits showrooms later this year, expect prices to start from around seven and a half grand. Honda has revealed the new Jazz Super Mini, and it's a subtle evolution of its predecessor. The chiselled edges have been rounded off, there's even more room inside, and the engines have more grunt, but the MPV-like versatility remains. We'll be driving the new Ford Fiesta rival later this month. This week, Jaguar's new owner, Tatar, unveiled plans to resurrect the Daimler brand. For years, the badge has been slapped on high-spec Jags, but the new strategy would see a move back to the super luxury models of yesteryear. The new cars will be looking to nick sales from the likes of Mercedes' deeply tacky Maybach limos. But this isn't the only reason for Mercedes to be wazzed off. You see, Daimler also happens to be the name of Merck's family of companies, although it's Tata that was first to put his beach tail down on the rights to the name. Also this week, John specced up his new long-term Mini Clubman. So John, Cooper works? I don't think so fella, I'm going to save myself an absolute fortune and go for the Cooper D. You know it does 69 miles per gallon? And it's clean too, but by the time you get them specced up, 25 grand? Well, prices start from around 15 grand, but I'm going to keep mine really simple, you know, a couple of bonnet stripes, maybe some black wheels, I just need to decide on paint. 